welcome to Creeping It Real. I am Judah over here. We got Jacob. And in front of the camera, we got the OG Mogger making us look bad over here. I don't like this. Get off the screen. Gabe suggested that we watch American Psycho. I did. And since he suggested this, because it's like his number one top favorite fap movie, we decided <laughs> to... <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Whoa. 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 Family friendly. Family friendly. Thank you. Hands are here. Okay. Hand check. A hand check. Yep. Let's just watch the trailer, please. <laughs> New card. What do you think? Whoa. Very nice. Patrick, he's so sweet. Jean. Yes, Patrick. Would you like to accompany me to dinner? Sabrina, why don't you dance a little? Christy, get down on your knees. We're not through yet. That's a wonderful suit. You look so soft. Oh. I don't think I can control myself. If you stay, something bad will happen. I feel lethal, on the verge of frenzy. I think my mask of sanity is about to slip. Hey okay, I think that's all we need from the trailer. That's the whole movie, dude. Basically. Jared Leto, baby. It's a good looking man. He Great is. music. Gabe, I would like to start with you. Yeah. Since if this was your suggestion. Yeah. Technically, it's a horror movie, and you guys like watching bad horror movies. Well, okay, I shouldn't say bad. Wow. You guys like watching... That was a little harsh. I didn't mean like that. But you know what I'm saying? You like watching Goofy. And so I thought this fit perfect. I feel like we shouldn't have him on camera anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I was opposed to this from the beginning. <laughs> well, I don't know. That's I got my big break and I ruined it. It's very That's demeaning true. to our, our viewers. I'm viewer. sorry. I'm sorry. To our viewer. Okay, give us more. So yes, I thought it would... I thought it's a funny movie. I don't think it's a horror movie, it but was, technically it is horror. And I thought it would be a funny... Not just horror. It's a freaking slasher movie, bro. Slasher. Yeah. yeah definitely. It's one I of my least favorite yeah. genre Ooh. of horror. Except comedy horror is my favorite, but then they mixed my least favorite, which is slasher mm. together, so it almost... Uh, it, it, it made it acceptable for you. Yeah, well, it's, it's like kind of a wash. It just kind of... Yeah. Did we watch something like that? Yeah. So. I also thought it'd bring our younger crowd in, maybe. Really? Because <laughs> a lot of, uh, you know, it's a popular movie. Now, I did, when I was doing research on this, I did read that it regained popularity because of the meme ability. Yeah. Now, let me ask you something. Was it really made in 2000? It was made 2000. Wow. Interesting. I didn't realize it well, was that new. It was a, supposed to be a period piece of the 80s, but it was... Yeah, you know. Intr yeah, okay. I get it. Wow, see, that's what made me think it was in the 80s. I had no <laughs> then they did their job. Yeah, I had no idea. Interesting, <laughs> interesting. Yeah. What, so from what you did stick around for, yeah. Jacob. Yeah, I it, 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 it just made me kind of, I, I just didn't feel. Uncomfortable. I felt uncomfortable. Thank you, uncomfortable. Yeah. Because of the potential reality. Correct. So with, um, what's the other one we watched? The Terrifier. Terrifier, right? Or Dead Sushi. It was, no, Super Terrifier. real. Yeah. Terrifier was very campy and just unrealistic, you know? You're never going to get through a, a chick's body with that thing. That's and true. It was just, it, it, it looked fake, mm -hmm. and so it was just goofy. It felt goofy. Like, lor, 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 lor. this, I just, it just makes me uncomfortable. Um, I'm a married man. Anyways, I, I yeah, it just made me uncomfortable. I didn't like. I've seen it before. Also, it just, I just, I don't. You told me you've never seen it. Parts of it. Sorry, not the whole thing. I've All never right, seen well, the whole okay. thing. Okay, this is now this I'm is getting uncomfortable. out of control. Uh, do you like anime? Uh, I love anime. Oh, never seen it. Now I'm uncomfortable. No. What did that come from, Gabe? Remember? Oh well, yeah. Okay. You like anime? Oh, Wait, I've never what? seen it. This says the guy who left the naked anime woman on my desk. Um, yeah, true no, story. Did, true did, did story. I was talking about Gabe. Yeah, he he he. That's this guy. He had his personal collection in to work. He wanted to show it to everybody. It was a it was a miniature life size doll. 
Yeah, but then he also brought the life size one in. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you didn't leave that in my office. Yeah. Yeah. You maybe I did. In the oh, no, I don't would, see that it. Would fit I don't see it. This. Anyways, just yeah, just not my thing. Not my thing. Okay. Do you have any questions for for Gabe since he's the one who like <laughs> <laughs> so he spearheaded you, the uh, attempt? Does, is it is it because you guys your generation is uh, like a bunch of angry? Like 4chan dudes, we were speaking about this. You're just angry. You hate women. You disrespect women. <laughs> yeah, I think you I think just, they should all be dead. He prefers or anime the dolls. Kitchen. Yeah, is that? I, I mean, every time I see him, I just all I can think of is I'm literally him. That's me on the screen, you know. Yeah. Now, in all uh, real life, in real life, there was a young man who killed his mother. Yeah. Okay. Who idolized. Patrick Bateman mm. in American Psycho mm. followed his skin routine, mm -hmm. read the book, yeah. and then went super douche on the cops. Oh, good cop, bad cop. Yeah. It's on YouTube if you guys want to watch it. Mm. It's um, interesting. But uh, it is interesting how there are people who actually idolize him in this. Yeah. It's kind of creepy. So, again, there's that real life thing that just like... Ugh. And there may or may not be one in the room. They um, are angry. Zoomers. Pudge is a big Patrick yeah, Bateman fan. He is. He's got a good fur. That just that makes me curious. Where does the uh, this is supposed to be a review about the movie, and we're supposed to keep it under twenty minutes? But I'm curious is what where does that make you feel like the responsibility of the uh, author or the director comes in if people uh, are are gonna take this and mm -hmm. idolize and then imitate? Mm -hmm. I mean, at what point do we take responsibility for Zero, our never? Never. Never? Never. No, I don't think so whatsoever. People are going to do what they're going to do no matter what. That might have been some kind of a, like, um, I don't know. You catalyst? Know, I, cat, thank you. Catalyst. I'm da-da. But it, it, the kid was crazy before. thing was he was on a lot of medications, and I really do believe that that kind of... But no, I don't think any movie should, or, or, or artwork or anything should ever be blamed for um, pushing stuff. It goes right back to around this area, mm -hmm. which reminds me, it was around this area when the whole uh, anti-Marilyn Manson mm -hmm. the, uh, school shooting uh, happened. Where, By the way, our savior, Marilyn our Manson, is up on yeah, the wall. Guys, Not yes, my savior. My savior. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah, he did get out of the thing. Anyways, I, I just really, he made a really good point, uh, you know, in saying what he did about that. And just, that it's not the responsibility. And if you can't see the entertainment part of it, oh, that's fine. But it's not anyone's fault for somebody's actions. Gotcha. Based on what you did saw, see, yeah, and saw. <laughs> yeah, you like my grammar. See, I don't like saw. Either. I speak words good. Based on what you saw mm -hmm. and knowing your feelings, yeah. I'm going to rate for you a three. Gabe, yeah. based off of you being an incel and how much you love this movie, <laughs> I am going Whoa. to rate this movie for you at a nine and a half plus two. That is, that's a high rating. Yeah. Do you agree? <laughs> I my that apology. I, that was rude. Nope. We're going to yeah. keep it in. Yeah. We'll okay. That's my in. score. Not, okay. I'm an incel, apparently. So, <laughs> you'll see it right here. <laughs> now, Judah, I'm going to rate your score, Judah. Do it. <laughs> As an angry old excited. man, as a boomer, <laughs> as, a, as, as a boomer, <laughs> dude, I'm a freaking Xer. As so an angry don't boomer, even no. Sorry, what, what would you rate this movie, Judah? Honest, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a six, which is the same as oh. uh, Dead Sushi, which I really enjoyed. Yeah. See, I, I would give it closer to a five, honestly. Okay. Yeah. You gave Dead Sushi a higher score than I did, so. Yeah, I love that movie. It was goofy, dude. It just it it, it really helped after watching Terrifier, Terrifier just yeah. kind of like wash the palate. Mm -hmm. You know, let me jump into a few like things that I discovered when researching this movie. First of all, it was a novel originally. I yep. don't know. Did you know this? Easton Ellis. Yeah. Uh, did you know this, Gabe? Yeah, I did not. Of course he did. OK. So this dude, apparently Brent Easton Ellis, the, uh, he wrote another book that got turned into a movie that did not succeed at what was all. That? I don't remember what that movie okay. was called. So he wasn't having high hopes for this movie okay. on top of the fact that he felt it was unfilmable because of how graphic yes. the book was. For the time, this was a very graphic movie. Um, so, but 
So he wasn't really thinking it was going to go anywhere. But then Johnny Depp in 92, because I think the book came out in 91. Okay. Then Johnny Depp, he started getting interested in it. And in so this. in the mo- in the novel to be turned into a movie. Wow. So can you imagine if Johnny Depp would have been in this? This is this is what I'm saying. His so in 91 he would have been coming off of the movie Freddy's Dead, which is a horror movie. Yep. And so it doesn't at that with that it almost seems to make sense. Yeah. Like he was getting into it. So Johnny Depp, uh, uh, Patrick Bateman, and Jared Leto. Yeah. <clears throat> On top of that, I mean, he would have okay. He would have been like 34 at that. By the time the movie came out, yeah, uh, yeah. he would have been like 34. And I guess that's workable, but I think... I think closer to 38. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah almost 40. So I don't know, though. Yes. But he uh, he's often looked super young. Depp? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, now he's showing Same his with age. Leto. I don't know how old Leto was in this movie, mm-hmm. but he, I mean, he still looks like he's 25. Yeah. But that's because he sacrifices baby lambs. Oh, he, he drinks their blood and everything. Yes. Um, but I'm not sure if I can buy Depp in this role. Doesn't matter. That's what got people interested in it. Yeah. Johnny Depp thinking it was a good idea got like other studios and so forth. No, that's good. He's, so it. he was kind of a push. He pushed this. Yeah. And gotcha. then we got Cronenberg. He started getting interested in it. And Cronenberg and Brad Pitt were both on board. For this, that's wild. Can you imagine if Brad Pitt well, in? Oh my god! This is the thing. I was showing Gabe some scenes from Twelve Monkeys. He wasn't feeling it, but my first introduction to Brad Pitt was in Twelve Monkeys, okay. which was like three years. My first was the uh, thirteen or what was it? I don't know. The movie, the serial killer movie. What's in that box? <laughs> oh, seven, seven, seven. <laughs> yeah, okay. Real. But for for me. I thought Brad Pitt was amazing in 12 Monkeys and I could and he played like a crazy weird person yeah. and mm-hmm. Christian Bale kind of go you didn't miss you missed this part but he goes crazy and somewhat would you disagree with me Garrett <laughs> Gabe. Gabe Gabe whatever your name is dude uh, right. disagree about what yeah that was actually a power move on my part because I'm tired of his mogging. Yeah. And what, so I wanted him to feel belittled. Que- or, or you didn't make a, a statement that I think he... I don't even remember what I asked I, at this point. I feel you were, All you said that these people were involved in something about 12 Monkeys. Oh, no, no, no. He he goes crazy. He kind of... Uh, Patrick Bateman in the movie... Goes inside. Goes... Yeah. He starts to lose it. Would you agree? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I felt that Pitt did... Uh, crazy guy quite well in 12 monkeys and so i could see this yeah okay like i was saying it's hard for me to see just in general with any movie it's hard for me like once i've already seen someone in a role it's hard for me to like not see them in a role gotcha now the thing is did it ruin batman for you no no okay uh brad pitt would have been coming off cool world which was a bomb of a movie that's the one where he's with cartoons sexy cartoons yeah well yeah roger rabbit did it better I think Roger Rabbit came out before Cool World. I th- that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. So then Lionsgate uh, gets a hold of this movie. Okay. And they connect with Mary Heron because she had some kind of movie come out in the festival that like went gangbusters. And so they connected okay. with her. I'd be interested in seeing uh, what her like... You know, being a director in this mm-hmm. and with women being like such a yeah. uh, a target. Yeah. Uh, what, you know, her it does. On that would be. It seems weird. At w- I did read that she felt that it would be kind of like a, she could make it some kind of a subversive uh, feminist movie in a way. Gotcha. So anti. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Yeah, I get it. So her and this other woman, Guinevere Turner. No, co-wrote no. this okay but she also this guinevere turner she acted as one of the women that which one bail i think it was the red oh you weren't here no were you when the he dropped hooker? the chainsaw down the, no. the flight set okay no. so there's this this chick that he sleeps with and so this guinevere turner played this woman okay uh lionsgate gets hold of this okay they get a hold of Leonardo DiCaprio to start as Patrick Bateman, who is coming straight off of Titanic. That would have been a 
film. The most popular movie of all time. Actor, yeah, movie and actor at that time. Yep. So he takes it, but he's making changes to the script and stuff. And him, the direct. Oh, he so, had offered like twenty mil for that. Didn't yes, he? twenty. He it which down. is hilarious because the, the budget was, was only seven? seven million. The but wow. Okay. So they were willing to sit seven million for the production of the movie, and we will pay an extra twenty just to Leonardo DiCaprio, which would have almost made it equal to their gross. Exactly. Yep. Anyway, which is about thirty million. So, so. Uh, Mary Heron is all like, "No, it has to be Christian Bale," and they say, "No, it's Leonardo DiCaprio." She refuses. She says, "No, it has to be Christian Bale." They kick her out. Get a new director, Leonardo. And, and this new director are having some issues. He ends up quitting. The funny thing is, Christian Bale was so convinced that Leonardo DiCra Di DiCaprio would not stick with this movie that he continued to practice the lines and working out. For it. He was so convinced that here's he was the, not going to stick thing. with it. If this would have been, Leonardo DiCaprio, I think, was too young for this role. Oh, he looks like a baby at that time. Yes, I think it would have been. I think that really would have taken away from that, and it really just would have killed it. So it just—it's it, not realistic for him being in the working world and at the level that these guys are at to have a eighteen-year-old dude be Wolf of Wall Street. Oh yeah, yeah. Because this was very Wolf of Wall Street. He—I mean, he would have been like twenty-three at the time. I know. I'm just saying he looks like a baby. Now, so, a yeah. couple other people because they were so hell bent against Christian Bale. As they asked Ewan McGregor, who Christian Bale personally knew, and went to him and was like, dude, don't take this job. Mm -hmm. So he backed out, and they had some other people. Can you imagine Vince Vaughn playing this? <laughs> That's <laughs> horrible. Terrible. Yeah. Anyway, I give this a six. You, what's your real score? A uh, 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 five. Gabe, what's your real score? Honestly, eight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I wasn't That's the far highest off. score I you think he's not. given in yeah. the movie. You're not. It, it wasn't a horrible movie. It's not for me. I don't like slashers. I don't like uh, violence being sexualized. I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. Uh, if I don't watch this ever again, I'll be okay. Yeah, me too. Yeah. But I would appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, and share. You yeah, can find down, us on YouTube. You can find us on Rumble. Rumble. Oh, yeah. We have been creeping it real and. See you next time. I guess, yeah. See you next week. Later, guys.